guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Delise and I am a full-time working mom of three who just had weight loss surgery six months ago. So today I wanted to do a video about the six things in honor of my six month surge anniversary um, that I wish I would have known before I had surgery. Of course, before having surgery, you know, I did a bunch of research. I went on YouTube, I watched videos, I talked to my doctor, I talked to people I knew who had had the surgery before. Um, I read some online forums and blogs and like I did all the research I thought I could possibly do, but there was so much after I had the surgery that just surprised me. So I wanted to go ahead and share those things that kind of threw me off guard a little bit after having surgery. And hopefully that will be helpful to you if you are thinking about having surgery or if you just recently had surgery or whatever the case may be. So one of the biggest things that, you know, I wish I knew before I had surgery and I wish I wasn't expecting, I guess, is that you won't lose weight daily. Like it's literally not going to just fall off guys. It's not, it's not, it's a tool. Everybody says it. You hear it constantly when you're doing the research. It's a tool. It's a tool. It's a tool. It's a tool. However, just from watching people go through it, from the research I did, from watching people like in vlogs and family members and things like that, you know, you think, wow, they lost a lot of weight so quickly. That's what's going to happen to me. I'm going to like blank and I'll be skinny. Yeah, that's not, that's not going to happen. <laughs> so, um, the scale kind of becomes your enemy a little bit. I hate to say it that way, but at least for me anyways, I have stalled multiple times. I'm six months in. I stalled around month two or three for about three weeks and I'm actually in a stall right now. I have weighed the same thing for probably a month and there's really nothing you can do but just let your body take its course. Everybody's body is different, you know, and I've said it before, comparison is the root of all evil. Like, you know, comparison is horrible. So I try not to compare myself to, you know, other people who have had VSG who maybe at six months have lost, you know, a majority, you know, a hundred pounds or whatever. I am 70 pounds down. I'm proud of that. Do I have a long ways to go? Yes, I do. I'm still heavy. Um, but I've come very far in just six months, a lot further than I could have ever come on my own. And I try to keep that in mind. So yes, the weight is not just gonna fall off. In the beginning, it kind of tricks you, makes you think that it's just gonna fall off because the first few weeks, at least for me, um, the weight was just kind of falling off. But you have to think about the fact also that uh, you are just having liquids and then moving into like purees. And then once you start eating, actual food, it does take a little longer. So just let your body run its course, do what you know you're supposed to do, and you know, the results will come afterwards. The next thing that really surprised me about this surgery is that restriction is different from day to day. So about like two months ago, I tried tuna and I could not eat tuna. Like it made me sick, sick. But now I'm like in love with tuna and I can eat it just fine and it does not make me sick. Um, and that, you know, obviously that's like a two month difference, but that can vary from day to day. Like one day I can eat, you know, an egg, a full egg and I'll be fine. And one day I'll take two bites and I'll literally feel sick if I try to take a third bite. So. It just is what it is. I don't really know what the science behind that is. I'm not a doctor or nurse, but I do know that it happens. Kind of along with that, but another thing that definitely surprised me is that your tastes are gonna change. Like the things that you crave, the things that you enjoy, they're gonna change after surgery. Um, I used to be like a huge sweet tooth, like anything sweet, give it to me, you know? Like I loved all the sweet things. And excuse my dog, I feel like she's always snoring in the background, guys. I'm sorry. I have to film the videos when the house is asleep. <laughs> I'm a busy mom. But anyways, um, 
I was a huge sweet tooth. Like I had a huge sweet tooth. I loved eating sweet things and now not so much. I kind of find things too sweet, like jarringly sweet. And I'm just not, you know, it's not really what I want. Like I really like crunchy, salty things now, which is different for me. So um, definitely expect for your tastes to change. I have heard from people that I've talked to like about it happening to me that it is kind of normal. So I don't know again why that happens, but it does. Okay, <laughs> something that I really wish I knew before I had surgery was that no matter how much water you're used to drinking pre-surgery, it's gonna be hard to get all your water in post-surgery. I thought, I'm good. Like everybody could tell me, you know, you have to keep up with your water, you have to keep up with your water. And I'm like, I'm gonna be fine. <laughs> like, I'm used to drinking a lot of water. I'm good, right? Yeah, no. <laughs> it's not that easy just because you can't take humongous like gulps at a time guys you're sipping even at six months like yeah I can drink a little more at a time than I could like right after surgery but you're sipping you're definitely not like gulping down the water and it makes it tough and when you can't drink you know 20 minutes before eating and 30 minutes after eating or whatever it is it's it's hard to get all that water in so yeah Getting the water in is hard no matter how used to drinking water you are. And also along with that, like water and protein are going to be your number one for a while now. <laughs> um, that's like the biggest thing. Anytime I talk to the nutritionist, dietitian, doctor, surgeon, anybody, they're like, how's your protein intake? How's your water intake? So yeah, water and protein, they're going to be your number ones for quite a bit after surgery. So just get used to it. <laughs> Another thing, another thing that I really wish I knew before surgery, and I kind of feel like people maybe warned me about this, but maybe I just still wasn't as prepared as I should be, is that your tummy will be loud. Guys, my stomach is so loud. It makes the loudest noises for no reason. <laughs> and I don't know why. It just like grumbles and growls and I'm like, what is going on in there? So yes, my stomach is loud. And then, ugh, the burping, guys. I heard warning about the gas, the gas, the gas, the gas. And I was like, oh, well, like, you know, it'll be fine. A few burps here, there, but guys, no, it's bad. It's a lot of burping. My three-year-old today, I burped, I think like three times in a row. And I'm like, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. And I'm like, I wish I could stop burping. And he goes, well, mom, isn't that why you got the surgery? So you could burp a lot? Like he legit, I mean, he's three, but he legitimately thought <laughs> that I went to get surgery so I could burp because every time that I burp like incessantly like that, I'm always like, I'm sorry guys, it's because of the surgery. So he really thought that that's why I got surgery. So yeah, the burping and the grumbling in your stomach, just, I mean, it's just gonna have to be something that you get used to because it will happen. I don't know how long it happens, but I'm six months out and it's still happening guys. So and I don't know if I'm doing something wrong, I definitely try to eat slowly and do everything, you know, by the book, but it is what it is. And I guess this is kind of like a bonus number six and seven, but this is my number six. Number six is that, you know, this, I've said this before, it's not just a physical change. You know, you are physically getting a surgery. You are physically having a change happen in your body, but this surgery is like a whole, self change like mentally and emotionally you're going to change you're going to go through it guys you're going to go through periods of time where you may feel like was the surgery right for me you're going to go through periods of time where you don't like recognize yourself not i'm not even saying physically but more like mentally emotionally you're just it's it takes a little bit of a toll on you and you have to like push through it and be strong and just believe in yourself and i don't know if that's just a me thing i'm really really an emotional person but um it definitely has been a huge toll and if you know if you had a food addiction or you know you were a binge eating that binge eater prior to surgery that's not going to go away because you had surgery so mentally and emotionally you're trying to train yourself um to eat less because it'll be painful if you binge eat i'll tell you that much 
Um, I've had like one bite too many of dinner before and like literally been in tears. <laughs> so I can't imagine trying to like, or binge, I can't imagine binge eating after the surgery. It must be painful, but that urge to do so if you were a binge eater or if you had a food addiction or like, for example, for me, I stay up late. So I was used to eating like really late into the night. I don't do that anymore. But in the beginning, it was hard for me to not go grab a snack or, you know, once or twice I did go grab a snack and I couldn't eat it. And it was hard. And it was like, well, how am I going to find the energy to stay up at night? And, you know, it, it's a lot of like an emotional mental toll, but along the same lines of that, something that I guess it, it could just be a me thing. <laughs> I didn't expect, um, I didn't expect to receive as much support as I have from just people around me, even people that are just on my social media, um, people from back home, things like that. Um, in my mind, I guess before I had the surgery and everything, there, there was always that stigma. Like, oh, it's the easy way out. I'm getting surgery. People are going to judge me because I'm taking the easy way out. And I kind of just had it in my head that I was going to be judged for that. And who knows, maybe they are judging me, but people are not showing me that. I'm not getting those negative comments that I thought I would get. I have gotten so much support from family, friends, people on social media, just sharing this journey, which is why I've kind of brought it over to YouTube um, that I didn't expect, but like, I'm so here for it. Like I am here for it, guys. I need it um, because not to say that I need like, validation from outside but when i'm doubting myself which i do often when i doubt myself when i look in the mirror and i say okay i've lost weight but i haven't lost enough or when i'm feeling emotional about the fact that uh, i don't want to cry <laughs> but when i'm feeling emotional about the fact that maybe i I'm not as successful at this as other people might be. Um, I look back on those posts where I have all this support from these people who knew me or know me or don't even really know me and they're supporting me and they're telling me, you know, keep going, you're doing great, you look great. And I see that and I internalize that and I remind myself like, I, I am doing great <laughs> and so I'm here for that and I need that and I think it's important um, to have that support you know of course I have the support in my house like I have my husband I have my kids but sometimes when it's the people closest to you you feel like you know it's maybe like forced like it's their job to do that like they they're just doing that because they have to and um, to have that support outside of it is really important so like i said the weight doesn't just fall off guys i am still heavy um not as heavy as i was but i'm still heavy and i still have a long ways to go you know i'm six months in so we'll see where i am you know in a year you know in six months from now when i've hit my year mark but having that support and the fact that it's there was just was so surprising and I wish that I'd have known that it had been there that it would be there before I had surgery because I would have done this a long long time ago all right guys so I would like you to let me know down in the comments if you are someone who has had surgery or is thinking about having surgery like what brought you to this video I'd really like to know and I'd also like to know just any requests um, any kind of videos you would like to see on my channel. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.